What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So the first thing I'm going to share with you people is a deporty with a mole and pan after him kill a man a runway and him send him back to my yard and him all on upon him. See? A 50 year old deporty was charged with murder on Xmas Day. Four days after his force returned to the island, the deportee Omar Beckford, otherwise called Guns, of Upper Oxford Street, Kingston, is alleged to have been responsible for the September 2019 stabbing death of Tamalo or Tamolo. Thomas also of Upper Oxford Street. Reports from the Denham Town Police are that about 12.30 p.m. Thomas and Beckford were at their Upper Oxford Street address when an argument developed between them. The argument reportedly escalated and came to a physical altercation. During the tussle, a knife was used to inflict multiple stab wounds to Thomas' head and neck. Thomas was assisted to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Beckford was arrested overseas and dipped. On December 21st, he was handed over to the police and was charged on Xmas Day. Jaja. So people, avoid physical confrontation, Bridging. If you're in an argument with a person, them say soft and turn it away, right? You know what I mean? If you don't go try to de-escalate what go on, walk away. And people who don't just stand up and see people are cuss and a fight and watch them. Although them say cockroach no business in a fall fight, but try to do something. You know what I mean? And walk away from an argument, people. You know what I mean? It can prevent you from hurting or killing someone or someone hurting or killing you. You see me? So, leave your comments. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Mother re real realized on fate after son murdered on Xmas Day. Odine Hines loved his mother cooking and was looking forward to stuffing his stomach with her culinary creation on Xmas Day. His mind was set on some sumptuous oxtail, curry goat, baked chicken and other delights. And his mother was advanced in her preparation to make sure this would be a Xmas dinner to remember. However, in a cruel twist of fate, there were no feasts on Xmas day. Only a bitter taste of pain mixed with anger after Heinz was shot to death in East Kingston. As expected, Heinz's mother, who asked not to be named, is broken. Everything did season up for cook and made it bake already. But now everything in the fridge, same way. Him tell me, say, him want to ask steel, curry goat, baked chicken, and some other things. Me buy everything that him say him want, but instead of cooking, me end up go hospital to go collect his belongings, she told our news team. Reports from the Elliston Road police are that about 10.15 p.m., Hines was driving his motor car when upon reaching a section of Deanery Road, Kingston, explosions were heard. The police were summoned and upon arrival, Hines was found in the driver's seat of his Toyota Probox motor car with what appeared to be a gunshot wound to the side of his head. He was taken to the Kingston Public Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Hines of McIntyre Villa, Franklin Town, Kingston 16 was a cab driver in the East Kingston era for several years. His mother described him as a hard-working, quiet and non-contentious human being. It is the second time in four years that death has visited the mother's doorstep in this horrific manner. She told our news team that her husband was murdered at their business place in downtown Kingston in 2019. A robber came up to an us and they took everything and they killed him on the spot. He died in my hands, the grieving woman said. After my husband was killed, I became I became a child of the most I. So now I'm relying on my faith to get through this. I am a black African woman, so I am strong. I am holding it and I am going to be firm. 
my son was taken away from me but the almighty is going to give me the strength so you know i mean r.i.p to that person condolences to the mother and the rest of family Jano people so let me know what you guys think in the comment section so we are gonna move on my people five person get caught up in a manchester you see me i say and people where them caught up these five person you would believe at a church service you see me five people including a woman were shot during an attack at a gospel concert in manchester on tuesday night head of the manchester police soon senior superintendent Makala told our news team that the incident which happened shortly before 11 p.m was an unprovoked and senseless act it is a yearly event that is always peaceful with a fun day the information that we have so far is that two men on a bike ride up minutes to 11 p.m and open fire indiscriminately at persons standing outside the venue said makala the annual gospel concert conceptualized by lennox peter powell was held in memory of his passing Makala said a motive has not yet been established for the shooting. The five people were rushed to hospital where they have been admitted in stable condition. There is a strong possibility that there will be a ban on events from now leading to New Year's Eve. This will be done on a case-by-case -case assessment. Intelligence will have to be assessed, reassessed, and we will do a review of the decision within the first week of January, said Makala. Jaja, boy, may I tell you people, at a gospel event? Come on, man. Jano, boy, them people here in Jamaica, them get worse and worse by the seconds. You know what I mean? So, people, just let me t know what you guys think in the comment section. And we're going to go over in a Trinidad for your little minute you see me i say trinibad police officer charged with murder a police officer in trinibad is due to appear in court virtually later on wednesday after he was charged in connection with the december 17 murder of two relatives at the court's mega store car park in san juan on the outskirts of the capital in a statement, the police said that Police Constable Roberts, who was last attached to the Homicide Bureau of Investigation, was charged on Xmas Day with the murders of siblings Simeon Leslie or Leslie and I guess the next sibling, them name hard for pronounce me people, and with shooting with intent to do grievous bodily harm of another man. It is said Roberts was arrested in an exercise conducted by officers of the Professional Standards Bureau and was later charged with the offense following advice received on Xmas Day from the Director of Public Prosecution, Roger Gaspard. The inquiry was bolstered by officers of the PSB, the Research analytical unit and legal officer ramja boy people them near me i mean i tell you them hard people all right according to the police reports just after midday on december 17 several police units respond to reports of loud explosions at the court's mega store car park upon arrival at the scene first responders met an off-duty police officer and observed several people lying on the ground nursing injuries two of the injured people succumbed to their injuries while others were taken for medical treatment at hospital the police statement added the mother of two people killed abigail john told reporters that the group went to meet someone who had promised them items at a reduced price at the store she said the siblings had already paid for the items but found the transaction suspicious and wanted to cancel it john said her daughter reported the initial transaction to the police and planned to meet with the person at court's mega stores car park to get the money back the police said initial investigations revealed 
half duty officer fired his license gun killing the two siblings and injuring other three people since the incident the national security council called for an immediate review of the relevant laws regulations and practice surrounding certain aspects of the um trinidad and tobago police service following the police involved shooting incident at the court's mega store car park a statement issued by the ministry of national security said the decision to review the ttps um, followed an extraordinary meeting at the nsc that was chaired by prime minister so people me now go no further in another reading here seeing so here we go on now the people them purchase must the items them hear about a deal pay them money already but like them a check out the thing and them a say boy you know what i mean this looks suspicious or whatever so them want them money back and them go back for them money so them get caught up me don't know what occur why them get caught up you see me because them not give all of the details but is a half duty police officer calling them up and them charge him you see it so people on a level when you not, not purchase no pussy in a bag because of from a long time you hear that you know what i mean don't buy no pussy in a bag if i know up front and you check your items don't buy it and we are see a whole heap of people are sell this and that online careful of that too because enough people get robbed you know what i mean pay them money and them not get the items so bless upon yourself thanks for watching like and subscribe